Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Pokemon Gold playthrough. I'm also known as Pokemon Trainer Rob. So, let's go ahead and finish up. First thing we're going to do is we're going to finish up the Pokedex. Now, as you can see, we have 250 out of 250. But, there is a secret gift Pokemon you can get. Now, like Mew in Pokemon Gen 1, Celebi is a Pokemon that you can get from a special Nintendo promotion that they held back in the day when this game was actually relevant. However, because uh, so much time has passed and, you know, they're focusing more on the Gen 6 games, not the Gen 2 games, you can't really get a Celebi through that means anymore. So, the only way you can get it is via Game Shark or by glitching, which is what I'm going to be doing. Now, this glitch that I'm about to use, it's very weird, it's very random, it's going to seem like it shouldn't work at first, but it does. I'm pretty sure it does, so we're going to use this glitch to get Celebi, the last Pokemon for our Pokedex, so let's go ahead and get started here. The first step is you need to go to your item box, your PC, and you need to have all of these items in your box and you have to have them in a very specific order so this is the order you need them in so this is what you need the first item can be any number of any item as long as it's not used in this list already so I just went with two super potions next you have to have 38 of any item once again it has to be a random item that hasn't been used elsewhere Two TM27s, which is Return. You can get Return in the Goldenrod department store. On the fifth floor, there is a lady behind the counter who will uh, take a look at the first Pokemon in your party, and if you have a good happiness rating with them, she'll give you a TM27. If you have a very bad happiness rating, she'll give you the TM Frustration, which is kind of the same type of move, but it works in the opposite way. But either way, you need two of these TMs. I just got TM27 from both of my versions. Uh, you can get TM27 multiple times, though, in the same playthrough, so it's not a one-time only TM. You need 42 Freshwaters, one Lovely Male, HMO7, which is Waterfall, 65 Pokeballs, four Great Balls, and Everstone. Any number of anything, so I just went with a pink bow, which I had two of. 51 Surf Males. 18 Full Heels. 46 Flower Males. HMO3, which is uh, Surf. An X Speed. TM06. Any number of any item, once again. I went with PP Up, so I haven't reused any of my items. And lastly, TM41. These are all the items you need. Now, you need a specific amount of Pokemon in your party. First Pokemon you need is a, a Pokemon to use to become Celebi. This Pokemon will become Celebi. I'm going to use this random Jinx that I had in my box. Uh, second Pokemon can be any type of Pokemon. Uh, I'm going to be using Swampire so I can use Fly. Uh, the third Pokemon, it's not supposed to be Quagsire, it's supposed to be just a freshly caught low-level Pokemon, which I'm going to be getting in just a few minutes, so do not worry about that. And the fourth Pokemon you need is a Quagsire that has Sleep Talk as its first move, and it also needs to be holding an HP up, I believe which I'm pretty sure it does, so I'll check just to make sure, though. Okay, yep. It's a HP up, so let me go ahead and put that back in his hand. And there we go. The other Pokemon do not need to be holding anything. So now we're going to fly to New Bark Town. First thing we're going to do is we're going to catch that freshly caught Pokemon that we need. 
which is going to be a very easy step. We just need to find a Pokemon and catch it. Not a big deal. And sure enough, the first grass tile we walk into has a freshly caught Pokemon, so we're going to be catching a Pidgey. Because why not? Let's just use an Ultra Ball. We should be able to get this. Pidgey is uh, very, very easy to catch. Even if you don't lower its uh, HP at all. Still might take a few times though, because we are just throwing random Ultra Balls at it after all. The only problem is I don't really have anything to weaken these guys with since my Pokemon are so highly leveled. So yeah, this is just going to be a random Pokemon. Not a big deal. We'll just call it, uh... We'll just call it Bob. Bob the Pidgey. Good old Bob the Pidgey. So now we need to put Bob in the third spot. So yeah, make sure the Pokemon you want to replace is in the first spot. Make sure the freshly caught Pokemon is in the third space. And make sure the Quagsire is in the fourth place. So now that we've done that, we're ready to actually activate the glitch. So what we're going to do is we're going to go inside Elm's Pokemon Lab. We're going to save. And we are going to reset the game. <sighs> I'm sure you guys are just being like, oh my god, this is not going to work. You're just sending us on a wild goose chase, Slim Kirby. But no, it works. I'm serious. It really does work. Okay, so you need to exit the lab. Walk four spaces to the right. One, two, three, four. Then you're going to go to your Pokedex. Find Bellsprout. Which, uh... There's Bellsprout. You're going to play its cry. After you do that, you're going to leave this. Go to your pack. Use the coin case. As you can see, it reset the game. Things look weird. That's fine. Things are supposed to look weird. We're going to use Swampire and we're going to fly to Goldenrod. And now we're going to go to the daycare. We're going to give Jinx to the daycare man. We're going to immediately take back the Jinx. And if things worked... It didn't work. Shoot. Um... Oops. <laughs> oh my god, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. Okay, I caught some other Pokemon. I'm gonna see if it'll work this time. Maybe... It'll just work with a different set. Not really sure. We'll see. There! Oh, it froze this time.
think it may have worked. I hope it worked. <laughs> I really, really do. Oh my god, it worked! Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes! Ah, oh, thank god. It didn't change my Pokedex though. Which is kind of weird. Should have. Huh. Maybe if I change the name and use it in battle once, maybe. Maybe that'll fix it. It's kind of lame though if it doesn't change your Pokedex, but I mean, I can't really think of anything else. It's Aside from getting a game shark. Let's see. I know it's already named Tattle, but I'm just gonna give it a different name. Let's see. I got it though, I have a frickin' Celebi. It's level 26, it has pretty much all of Jinx's moves. Okay, well, awesome. Okay, uh, it doesn't edit the Pokedex, but I do have it. Uh, let me try going into a battle with it really quick. See if that'll, like, trigger me having it. Or I could give it to the daycare. Actually, it's a legendary. It won't be able to hatch an egg. Never mind. Well, let's just uh, go into battle with it. If not, I mean, we're going to count this regardless. I know my Pokedex doesn't say it, but it's it's a freaking Celebi. I don't care. That's all that's really important to me. Oh my god. I could trade it also. Trading is something else I could do. So does that trigger it? No, it doesn't. Shoot. Well, whatever. I I got it. That's that's the entire Pokedex. We've done it, folks. Next thing we're gonna do is gonna go to New Bark Town. Actually I won't be able to do that from here. I need to go to <laughs> Actually I need to go to Silver Cave. Because I'm going to get the item that will officially say that I've caught every single Pokemon in this game. I think it triggers if you just have 250 though, so it doesn't matter if I technically don't have all of them, the items I need. It's fine. Hopefully I don't run into too many wild encounters here. Ugh. I'm glad that worked. It took me it took me a few tries. Uh, there's a lot of uh, trial and error and luck based elements that go into it as well. I obviously caught a uh, Metapod, Caterpie, and a Pidgey. It was the Metapod that worked for the it's for the third slot Pokemon anyway. The Caterpie just ended up freezing the game, and the Pidgey was turning the game into weird dimension glitch world. So that was definitely interesting. Okay, can we please get through? Okay, there we go. We're out. We're going to fly to Celadon Mansion. This is the same place where we got the diploma in the original game. We're going to go back to the very same place and see if we can get another one of them diplomas. 
I don't think you're the person I need to talk to, though. I think it's the it's the game freak guy. Oh, it's not here. One more floor up? Okay, yeah, it's here. Is that right? I'm the game designer. Filling up your Pokedex is tough, but don't give up. Wow, excellent. You've completed your Pokedex. Congratulations. Thank you. And there's our diploma, guys. Woo! Awesome. The graphic artist will print out a diploma for you. You should go show it off. Well, awesome. I think the uh, printing it off thing is for the Game Boy camera and printer, which uh, obviously I don't have those devices, so I can't show that off. And lastly, we need the official word from Oak. So we're going to turn on the PC. Going to go to his PC. Current Pokedex, completion level, 250 seen, 250 owned. Professor Oak's rating, whoa, a perfect Pokedex. I've dreamt about this, congratulations. Well, you know what, Oak, you're not the only one who's dreamt about this. This was, like I said before, this was a childhood dream of mine. I wanted to do this ever since I got the game in like 2000, 2001. And I'm so happy that I was finally able to do it. This was quite literally a dream come true for me. I, I'm i speechless. I don't even know how to respond to this right now. It's incredible that I've caught every single Pokemon in the game. I have every single Pokemon in my possession. And more than that, I've completed the Pokedex. So I really can't say that... <laughs> This game is incomplete for me anymore. I've fully completed this game to and fro from beginning to end. From zero Pokemon to 250 Pokemon. I can't believe it. I'm just speechless right now. Hello everybody, Pokemon Trainer Rob here. Welcome to the final part of the Pokemon Gold playthrough. I know this isn't the beginning of the finale, but this is the final piece of gameplay we'll actually have in this uh, ridiculously long playthrough. And uh, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Max Repel so I can uh, avoid any and all encounters. And then we're going to go up here to Silver Cave. Now... You guys have told me that you can get through here without using Flash, obviously. And thankfully, only the first room is dark. So once you get through this room, the rest of the cave is not dark. But this is still a very tricky room to get through, so we need to uh, do our best to get through it. So first of all, I have this uh, nice list of instructions that we can use. Okay, go up until you hit the wall. Go one step down. Go three steps right. Go up. Go left. Right. Go down. Go right. Go up. Go one step left. Go up. left, go up, go left, go 
go up. Go right. Go down. One step up. Go right. Go one step left. Success! I know that was very ridiculous in terms of instructions wise, but it is possible. I might have to post the walkthrough that I used, but it is possible. I proved it. Let's move on. <laughs> oh my god, that was kind of ridiculous though. <laughs> Going completely by directions. That's why I wish you could at least see the rocks in the background. Well, what else are you going to do? So here we are. We're at the final encounter. Okay, so the next thing I was going to do was I was going to showcase all of my team members and all the moves they have, their stats, what all items they have. But when I got through my explanation, my explanation took about 10 to 15 minutes. And I don't want you guys sitting through that, so for convenience, I've pretty much put a description of what each member of my team has, uh, move set wise and item wise. And then just giving you guys an explanation of why that each member of my team is set up like that. I figured this is a better way than to just explain everything because this is already going to be a very long video. So, yeah, my explanations are in the video description. Check there if you're interested. But otherwise, let's get this on. Pokemon Trainer Rob. Rob versus Rob. Let's get this started. This is hands down the hardest trainer we'll fight in the game. Six of the highest level Pokemon we'll ever see. First up we have Pikachu. A level 81 Pikachu. I am 11 levels lower, which is kind of scary, but Pikachu shouldn't really be much of a threat. Its attacks are Charm, Quick Attack, Thunderbolt, and Thunder. The latter two don't even affect Porky, so he's really just going to be lowering my attack and using Quick Attack. So we're just going to use Earthquake and uh, wreck him. He didn't even get the charm off, so that's too bad for him. Too bad for him. He's going to go down one hit. One hit wonder. Alright, there we go. First Pokemon down. What do we have next? Next up we have Charizard. I kind of expected this. Well, I think I'm going to use Hyrule Girl for this. I have a Pokemon plan for every member of his team. Basically, who I'm going to use for each member of his team. Maybe not the best system, but I think it'll do pretty nicely. So let's see. Um, let's just go straight away with the Psychic. Charizard will probably have some solid special defense, but... With Psychic, I could potentially lower that special defense, and that's kind of what I'm hoping for. But, it's unnecessary. He's going to go down with two Psychics. Nice. Okay, what do we got next? Next up we have... Espeon. I'm going to use Houndoom for this. Also, Charizard's moves are Flamethrower, Fire Spin, Slash, and Wing Attack. Nothing really that, that uh, worrisome, to be frank. Okay, here we go. This isn't going to take a genius, we're just going to use Crunch. As for attacks that, Hyru uh, that Espeon has, it has Mud Slap, Swift, Reflect, and Psychic. It's going to use Reflect, which doesn't really even matter much. I'm only going to be using special attacks anyway. And it goes down. Next up we have Blastoise. I'm excited about this one. I'm going to go straight for Glimmer. 
Now I'm actually gonna hope for something right here. Uh, Blastoise has four moves. Surf, Whirlpool, Blizzard, and Rain Dance. If he uses Rain Dance and I use Thunder, he's pretty much dead. But just to be safe, I better use Rain Dance myself. Oh, well, he actually benefited from that by getting a little more powerful Surf off. But it's not going to matter. I have Thunder. This is going to be very, very quick. He's going to be able to survive this, though. Yeah, I figured. Uh, he might also heal, but that's fine, because I can just easily take him out again anyway. But he sees it's pointless, so he's just going to go down. Okay, what's the next one? Venusaur. Let's use Crobat for this. Venusaur has Sunny Day, Giga Drain, Synthesis, and Solar Beam. So not only does he have a healing move, he actually has two, because Giga Drain can technically heal as well, but he has Sunny Day, which will increase the power of Fire-type moves, or in the case of what this Venusaur wants to do, it'll actually make it so Solar Beam doesn't have a charging turn. So once he uses Sunny Day, He's just going to use Solar Beam every single turn until I go down. Let's just go for Fly. He's obviously going to use Solar Beam right here, but it's probably not going to do a whole lot of damage. In fact, it's probably going to do very little damage. Yep, only 30. See, this is going to be simple. I figured he'd use Synthesis right here, but I think, uh, will Fly kill him? It probably won't. It probably won't kill him. Oh, it did. Awesome. <laughs> Never mind then. I'll take it. And the last Pokemon that Red's going to use is Snorlax. Level 75. I'm going to bring out Terran, aka King Kianzen. To finish this up, Snorlax has Amnesia, Rest, Snore, and Body Slam. So, you know, a typical Snorlax build, he's going to increase his special defense up to godly proportions. He's going to use Rest to restore his health to full whenever he wants. And uh, he has Snore, so he can attack while he's sleeping. So. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to use Steel Wing on the off chance that my defense will increase. It didn't, but that's fine. Hopefully I don't get para- Ah! <laughs> that's annoying. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and full heal this. That was a dirty, dirty trick. <laughs> He's going to use Body Slam again. He's probably he's going to paralyze me again, isn't he? Oh my god! <laughs> Terran, please! Oh my god. Body Slam isn't even that accurate with Paralysis. It's like a 15% chance or something. So that's ridiculous. Okay, well, if worse comes to worse, I'm just going to use like a Max Potion. Should I just go for the Hyper Beam and see if I get this done, or... I'll steal me again. He's probably going to use... Body Slam. And if I don't get Paralysized... I'll just finish him up with Hyper Beam. Ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon Gold is finished. We have beaten Pokemon Trainer Rob. We have beat ourselves from the past. How does that feel? Kinda weird, but... I don't care, I'm done with this game! Woo! And with that...
the credits roll again. So that's it, folks. Pokemon Gold is over. My complete Pokedex run is over. This playthrough is done. And I can't believe it. I... I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> I guess I'll just go ahead and talk about the future for me and Pokemon. Um, for those asking, what's my next Pokemon game going to be? Well, first of all, it's probably not going to be for a while. <laughs> because, my god, this was such a huge undertaking. Even playing through this game normally without doing like all the Pokedex stuff, it's still a very, very big undertaking. And, you know, I've been doing this project since May. It's now November. Safe to say, I think I've earned a break from Pokemon, and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be taking a break from Pokemon. So, for those who want Gen 3, it's going to be a few years. <laughs> Maybe three. I'll see what happens in three years. If not three, four. I'll figure it out. I'll figure something out. But yeah, Gen 3 is next on the list, and I'm going to go ahead and say this right now. Two things. One, I don't have a Gen 3 game, so I need to actually get my hand on one before I can actually do a playthrough of it. And two, if I do a Gen 3 game, it's not going to be 100% Pokedex. I am done with doing 100% Pokedex playthroughs. I honestly didn't even want to do this for Pokemon Gold Silver either, but uh, you know, it was a dream I wanted to do when I was a kid. And that's the only reason why I went through with it, because it was an old-time dream of mine. And uh, I knew it was accomplishable, so that's why I went for it. And sure enough, I did. So I'm very, very happy about that. And uh, I'm happy to finally fulfill one of my long dreams from when I was a kid. It's awesome. It's really, really awesome. But with that being said, though, I'm not doing a Pokedex run again not like this. Definitely not. Because, my God, this was... It took so long. <laughs> so, yeah, it'll be a while before I get to anything Gen 3 related. Uh, in the meantime, uh, there are other Pokemon games that I wanted to get to. Namely, the Nintendo 64 spinoffs. There's uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. There's Pokemon Snap. Uh, hell, I'm not even technically done with Pokemon Stadium 1. Uh, what I am going to say about this, though, is uh, I could probably do Pokemon Snap sometime in the uh, first half of 2016. It's a very short game. It won't take a lot of my time. Very easy to get through. Uh, Pokemon Stadium. I am going to go back to Pokemon Stadium 1. I am going to finish what I started. The only thing I ask from you guys, though, is give me some time to relax from this playthrough before I get to it because I am seriously Pokemon out right now. Not even this playthrough, but also I've been working on my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Pokedex. I've been doing Pokemon for my retro achievement streams. Just give me a break from Pokemon for a while. And I promise that by the halfway point of next year, I'll start. I'll be starting to work on getting some teams ready for Stadium, and then I'll do Stadium Two. Like I said, I'll do Snap before all of that, and uh, there will be some Pokemon in 2016. Just not any RPG Pokemon. Give me some time on that. As for my next playthrough, I'm already working on a few games already, so I'm not going to announce any new playthroughs. Uh, my next RPG will be Fire Emblem Sacred Stones. Expect that to start in the next month or so, but that's going to be a much smaller scale than any of the RPGs I've done this year. This game and Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, Sacred Stones is not going to take me a whole lot of time at all. So I'll get to that. That'll start soon, and uh, that's pretty much what you can expect. For now, I'm turning this game off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. And with that, Pokemon Gold is finished, guys. Now, if you remember, for my Pokemon Blue playthrough, I ended that playthrough with me singing the poker rap, and then with a small dedication to all my friends and viewers who had a part and or a nickname featured in that playthrough. 
However, I will not be doing that this time because there isn't a Poker app that includes the Generation 2 Pokemon. Wait. There is a Poke app that contains the Generation 2 Pokemon? <laughs> well, in that case. P O K E M O N. Potter! P O K E M O N. Pokemon! P O K E M O N. Hallelujah! P O K E M O N. Pokemon! Sephora! Iglybuff, Poliswine, Slugma, Crobat, Politoed, Noctowl, Houndour, Heracross, Natu, Tyrogue, Ariados, Lugia, Steelix, Fanfi, Emperos, P O K E Yeah, P O K E M O N, Pokemon, P O K E M O N, Potter, P O K E M O N, Pokemon, Pseudo Wudo, Corsula, Teddy Ursa Sneasel, Fortress Mantine, Pichu, Larvitar, Hoot Hoot, Mill Tank, Totodile, Flygar, Lantern, Skarmory, Spinarak, Tyranitar! Ooh, yeah, yeah! I, I'm gonna sing it! Chikorita, Dunsparce, Apom, Pupitar, Porygon 2, Cyndaquil, Elekid, Raikou, Wobbuffet, Tysplosion, Granville, Pokemon, Stantler, Espeon, Ladybug, Togepi! I turn to you whenever I need you. You've got the power to protect us all. One thing is true, you're kind of magic at the tip of my fingers whenever I call. Gotta catch him, gotta catch him, gotta catch him all. Pokemon, P O K E M O N. Party, P O K E M O N. Pokemon, Quillfish, Ho, O, Azumarill, Croconna, Snubble, Ursa Ring, Yanma, Smoochum, Slow King, Blissey. Scizor, Donphin, Houndoom, Octillery, Wooper, Mareep, Hitmontop, Meryl, Umbreon, Bailey, P-O-K-E-M-O-N, Party, P-O-K-E-M-O-N, Pokemon, oh, yeah. Sunkern, Lady, and Giraffe, Rig, Murkrow, Remoray, Jumpluck, Lava, Smeargle, Swine of Macargo, Ferret, Blossom, Floppy, Entei, Meganium, Magby, Satu, Mischievous, Togetic, Shuckle, Quagsire, Pineco, Chinchow, Feraligator, Hopip, Kingdra, Unknown, Cleffa, Suicune, Delibird, Sentret, Skiploom! Gotta catch him, gotta catch him all! Pokemon, gotta catch him, gotta catch him, gotta catch him all!